When a Sri Lankan elephant got seriously ill in his stomach, the local community called for help. When the rescuers arrived on the scene, they were faced with a dire situation, and what they did to solve it was both thoughtful and touching. In the past, in Sri Lanka, there was an ongoing issue with waste being found in wildlife and livestock food. The waste collection infrastructure was unsettled, and as a result, the ecosystem got frequently compromised with trash. Garbage was contaminating many of the forests and nature reserves. Veterinarians and animal scientists were able to study the excrement of large animals in Sri Lanka, and they found that a huge percentage of elephants had been regularly consuming plastic. So perhaps it came as no surprise when this particular elephant fell ill because of its diet. The poor thing's belly slowly grew more and more swollen. Luckily, people noticed that something was wrong with the elephant's stomach, and they made sure to get the proper help from professional animal rescuers. The rescuers arrived on the scene prepared to save a life, or try to, to the best of their abilities. They went through the motions of standard protocol and care practices, starting by helping the elephant get into a comfortable position. Sick elephants have to be laid on their sides to be treated, because if they lay on their stomachs, they could accidentally suffocate under their own weight. When the team saw the elephant relax ever so slightly, they let out a group sigh of relief. They watched and saw the typical rise and fall of his chest and knew they could move on to their next step. They got water for the elephant, spoke some soothing words to him, and then gave his body a thorough examination. There was no evidence of any injuries or external damage. What they did find, though, was in several areas the elephant's skin was pulling taut by swelling. That confirmed that the assumption was correct and that the elephant was indeed having internal problems, likely in the stomach. An elephant's time is mainly divided between eating, drinking, and sleeping, with the most amount of time spent eating. To diagnose the elephant, the animal experts examined the food that had been consumed by his pack in the previous days. For example, he could have gotten constipated after eating too many foods classified as long-fiber food, like palm fronds. Elephants could also suffer gas pains after eating certain foods like corn and wheat. While an animal having gas pains like a human sounds cute, this condition can also lead to dire circumstances. If it doesn't receive proper treatment, the animal poses a risk of developing dyspepsia and passing away within the week. While this wasn't the most likely issue with the elephant, the rescuers checked nonetheless just to be safe. Eventually, the rescuers found out what was truly wrong with the poor elephant. He had eaten too much polythene, and his stomach had filled with harmful liquid. Polythene is one of the most common forms of plastic and can be found in things like grocery and garbage bags, medical gloves, and plastic bottles. Things that would take forever to decompose in a landfill were polluting the elephant's body. The liquid had to be removed as quickly as possible to promote the elephant's best chances at surviving. The rescuers realized that he had polythene blocking the digestive tract. The alimentary tract, as the scientists called it, is part of the digestive system. The tract begins at the mouth and ends at the anus and includes the intestines. This crucial part of the body can't stay obstructed for long, not without risking loss of life. The rescuers needed to act fast. They set the elephant up with a few IVs to continue giving it the good fluids it needed. Then they went on to examine his muscles. Sometimes improper diet can lead to muscle strains. And given the situation, that was a high concern for the vet. Thankfully, the rescuers were able to give it some shots to help with pain and tension. The process involved several injections to provide the elephant with a sufficient quantity of medicine to heal his estimated 11,000-pound body. The elephant was still awake and wiggling his hind legs a bit, and this gave the rescuers hope that he would pull through. The veterinarian took this as a positive sign and continued giving him injections all the way along the body, from the buttocks to the head. The huge size of the needles made onlookers cringe in pain, as they could only imagine what the elephant was feeling. Once that process was done, the rescuers could get on to their primary task, to drain his stomach of the polythene fluid. Before long, some progress was made, and the fluid began to drain out of the elephant's rectum. The veterinarian stayed close by and gave the animal assistance throughout the entire time. At one point, the rescuers had to disturb the elephant and make him move to access the opposite part of his stomach. Nobody was looking forward to the task of having the elephant move onto his other side, but that was the only way to ensure that he kept healing. 
If an elephant lays for too long on one side, they can develop health risks such as bed sores and blood clotting. This poor elephant had just started to drain some of the plastic clogging up his belly when the timer went off and the rescuers knew they'd have to put him on his other side. This was a difficult transition and the elephant seemed especially unimpressed at being pushed and prodded around. Eventually, the rescuers managed to get the elephant lying on its other side and the veterinarian could get back to their primary task. Once again, he helped the elephant drain the fluid out of its rectum. The poor thing was in such a weakened state that he laid right back down when he could. He appeared thin, as though all of his strength had been siphoned out of him. He did not argue or overly react when the veterinarian had to reach inside of him to pull out some bits of plastic. Neither the veterinarian nor the elephant enjoyed this process, but it was necessary to save the animal's life. The veterinarian pulled out piece after piece of plastic and handed them all to his team to study later on. The air grew quiet as the rescue team realized the extensive amount of garbage in the poor creature's stomach. It was breathtaking to see. While the doctor worked, the rescuers sprayed the elephant with water to cool him off a bit and provide him with some comfort. It briefly seemed to work, and he perked up and wriggled around in the mud a little bit. It was so nice to see something good happen for the animal. Elephants are highly intelligent creatures, and it seemed almost as if he knew that the rescuers were there to help. He was cooperating to the best of his abilities. Before long, a whole group of school-aged children arrived to cheer the elephant on. They were respectful and quiet, but clearly cared deeply for the injured animal before them. Things were moving in the right direction, but the clock was ticking again, and the team was running out of time. The elephant needed to get up and move his legs to avoid future muscle issues, but there was still an alarming amount of plastic inside his stomach. The team needed to find a different way to work on him. Thankfully, the doctor had an idea. The rescue team immediately offered its support, and what they did next proved to be both touching and thoughtful. With many of the plastic particles and obstructions pulled out of the elephant's intestines, the veterinarian had his team pull out their water hose from the truck. Then they all worked together to gently flush out the elephant's rectum and inner intestines to expedite the draining process. Using water to flush out the area made it easier for the veterinarian to search for more polythane stuck in the elephant. They repeated this cycle a few times until the rescue team was satisfied that a substantial amount of plastic was removed from the animal. Once the veterinarian deemed the situation no longer an emergency, he had his team lift the hose high above his head and give the elephant a nice long shower. The sweet animal would recover just fine, and everybody on the scene cheered for him. Another long day of work had ended with a success for the vet and his team, and thanks to their patience and quick thinking, another life had been saved. Have you ever experienced firsthand the consequences of plastic pollution? What do you do when you see trash on the streets? Tell us in the comments below. Thank you for watching and see you next time.